Hey guys, welcome back to the Podium Couch Garage. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I've got a four-wheel drive and a two-wheel drive drift car. Today we're going to talk about tires. I'm going to focus on testing different tires with the two-wheel drive. As I've said before, I'm not super fond of the four-wheel drive, so I think the two-wheel drive will be the best test of which tires to use. Tires make a big difference in how the car drifts. Uh, when you first get into it, you may decide you want to try rubber tires. I've got a set of really bouncy rubber tires. They're not as solid as some of the other options out there. However, I quickly decided that I didn't need the rubber tires as soon as I started learning how to tune the car and use it with the drift settings that I have on it. Uh, but I, what I will do today is I'll put these rubber tires on so you can see how the car reacts with those. I'm also going to use some of these uh, cheap Amazon deep offset, I, I don't know what to call them, but they're not very good. Uh, we'll see how they do on the car. And then what I currently have on the car is these Yokomo C tires. These are the main tires that I recommend if you're doing drifting on carpet or on concrete or tile. Um, I had a hard time finding what tires were best for drifting. I found these Yokomos. Uh, they seem to be the best performance I've gotten so far. So I'll start out showing you what those look like and then we'll go through the other sets of tires so you guys can see the difference. Like I said though, uh, when you first start drifting, you're gonna notice that your tires spin, that you can't get traction, that you have no control of the car. That's something you just gotta tune into your car. You start making adjusting settings, adjusting your toe, adjusting your camber, adjusting your caster, eventually you'll find that right combination. Um, your suspension, same thing. Uh, if you're too hard in the, or too soft in the front, too hard in the back, you'll see your car sliding out too much. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of tuning in your gyro just right. As you start to get all those settings, make small adjustments, and you'll start to see the those plastic tires are actually the best performance you're going to get for a drift RC and you'll start to really enjoy the drifting. So we'll go ahead and get it out on the track and start playing with the different tires and seeing how they perform so you guys can make your own decision. Um, like I said, I'm always going to recommend Yoko, the Yokomo C's. Um, if you're going to be on asphalt, Yokomo does make an A as well. Uh, those are good for asphalt and they're Probably decent if you're going to be in a parking lot or something like that. I haven't really messed with them much. Haven't been out in the parking lots. I do most of my drifting here at home. I have hit up the local drift track, which is tile also. So still using C tires there. I uh, haven't had much need for the other tires. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see how they do. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and start with our first set of tires. If you've seen my videos, you know these are my favorite. These are the ones I run on pretty much every video on the MST, but they're the Yokomo C tires. Go ahead and give you a couple laps with these. You guys have seen them run before, but we'll put it out there so that we have the content. Alright, now we're going to try the uh, Amazon cheapies and see how they compare. I got the cheapies on, haven't even driven the car yet, I wanted you guys to see it at the same time I do. I've never run these tires on this car so I have no idea how this is going.
I'm actually really impressed with these. It's a rim and tire set on Amazon. Might have to share a link for them. If you're looking for a cheap play tire, they actually have a lot of speed to them. We'll see if we can get any accuracy out of them, but it seems to drift and have a decent speed so far. So those tires do have some speed. They have quite a bit of grip to them, more grip than I like. I don't feel like it has the accuracy I want out of the drift, but they're not bad tires. Um, I feel like if I had a bigger track but more open corners, that would actually probably be beneficial. You get a good slide on a long corner because uh, I've got a compact garage track. It's not gonna have the same effect. Let's go ahead and throw on these rubber tires. Um, you're going to notice that I can't really drift with them. They're just going to stick to the track. But we'll put them on and show you guys what it looks like. These rubber tires are on. Hopefully I don't bust my car trying to show you guys this. Because pretty much it grips most of the time. And it makes the car about five times faster. So let's check it out. As you can see, I'm not really getting much slide out of it. Pretty much just sticking to the track. And it's so fast that you can't really keep up with any of the turns. I think if I go light throttle, I can just coast around the track with it. But it pretty much makes it into a touring car. With it being tuned for drift, it has no accuracy. All right, guys, that was it for the tire segment. Like and subscribe to the page. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'd be happy to help you with anything you're having an issue with drift-wise. Um, like I told you before, I'm fairly new to it. I've learned a lot. Um, might be able to help you out if there's something you're struggling with. I'll have more content coming to you guys soon.